afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Washington Nationals and Mark Pryor, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league, and one stat that jumps out, take a look at that strikeout-to-walk ratio. That's about as good as it gets. And look for him to dominate in this one. Dan Dero, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Howie Kendrick is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. A very fine afternoon for baseball, 67 degrees here at first pitch. Pryor is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around, and on top of that, he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty V, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher, one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw into a game, and two, getting out as quickly as you can. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Patrick Corbin is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Yeah, Matt, his last start wasn't a particularly good one. Lasted five innings and ended up taking Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Solo home run there for Javi Baez. Number 36 on the year for him. And the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Yeah, I can remember when leadoff hitters were these little speedy guys who would try to leg out little numbers or draw walks. Well, that time has passed, and guys like this with pop at the plate can sometimes go deep as well as anybody in the lineup. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. That is good. Here's Chris Bryant now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases. The wind up and the 0-1. This is line to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. The right field, Andre Johnson. At the plate now, Andre Dawson. Pitch misses low. The throw down. It is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. The so in now for Chicago, oh, yeah. Ryan Sandberg. And a great Sandberg. chance here for the Cubbies to add on in just the first inning. From the stretch. This one's down to third. Castro's got it. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Cubs are on the board. So striding forward now, Eric Thames. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Hey, you know, Dero, Rusty Valentine, he's known for having a high and a low strike zone, but... He's pretty good east and west. You better keep it on the corners. Yeah, I'm okay with Rusty's zone, without question. You know he's going to elevate. It's north-south, so you're aware of it. As a veteran player, you can live with that. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Eric Thames goes quietly, leading off the second. Swing and a liner, but right at the shortstop for the second out. That is it. The catcher. Wellington Here's the catcher, Wellington Castillo. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. 
He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. Nationals gone in order. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Last half of the second set to go. And into bat next, the left handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. And now pitch on the way. Line towards center field. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. The next cub up, Kyle Schwarber, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees. It's strike one. Fellas, the Nationals, as they take the field here today, they have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. Yeah, Matty, they got to find a way to put yesterday behind them. They got pounded without question, but today is a new day, and they regroup and grind and try and do the little things to try and win this ball game. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Oh, and they've got him picked off. And they got him at second base on a good, smart play that time. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And it's fouled away. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early 1-0. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. Into the bleachers and gone. Yeah, when he woke up this morning, the last thing he wanted was to be down 2 nothing in the second inning. The good that news is, is that both home runs have only been solo shots. But the bad news is he's not fooling anyone right now. Giving Chase his Robles, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And that brings up Javi Baez as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Hard hit at third. Gloved by Castro. Throw in time and the side is retired. Cubs get a run. Welcome back to Wrigley Field, home of the Cubs, who've proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. The center fielder, number 16, Victor Robles. Victor Robles digging in now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He'll enter play with that batting average, still shy of the 220 mark. Two home runs and five driven in. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So with one away, time for a check of the standings now in the National League Central as you see where the Cubs find themselves entering play here today. And he fouls this one off. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. 
fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Nationals on the board on the home run by Ryan Zimmerman. We play two and a half. It's the bottom of the third now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Albert Almora. The center fielder. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So an inning opening single kicks off their half of the third. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Line drive to center field. Robles is there and he has it for the first out. At the plate, Andre Dawson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Andre Dawson. Here comes the first pitch. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Dawson is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Dawson swings, and this one is hammered to deep left field. Left fielder looking up into the bleachers and out of here. A two-run job by Andre Dawson. Number 13 for him on the year. And the Cubs have taken a 4-1 to one lead. Wow. Nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Now back. So now to the plate, Ryan Sandberg. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. swing and this is also hit well out to deep center he gets under it and makes the catch in the deep part of the field Anthony Rizzo stands in now one for one after a single this first time up hit sharply on the ground gloved by Kendrick they'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning Two for the Cubs in the All set for the start of the fourth. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. This is line to left, but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. The left number 22. So one away here with the bases empty. And digging into bat next, the ever dangerous Juan Soto. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled away. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. The right first offering on its way. Eric, Eric Thames, Thames is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys. 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. And it's fouled away. The one two. Is swung on and missed strike three. Three up, three down for Washington. They try. Digging in now, Kyle Schwarber. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. 
Stepping in and ready for another shot, Victor Caratini. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. And he fouls this one off. The windup and the 0 1. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. 4 to 1 our score as we play inning number 4. Yanked on the ground down the line, but this will wind up foul, still 0 and 2. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Hit the other way out toward right field. Thames is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The pitcher, number 22. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Mark Pryor, one for one, as he reached base with a double his first time up. Castro has it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. A one count. Here's the pitch. I got one ball, one strike. A ball and two strikes now. I got the count. One and two. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Now that I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. One and one the count to Wellington Castillo. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Sent out to straightaway center field. Waiting on it is Almora, and that retires the side. Nationals gone in order. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Javier Baez. Third baseman in tight, protecting the butt the first pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. And bye-bye. That one's gone into the bleachers. So a solo shot here to left center field. His second home run of the game as they stretch the lead to 5-1. So here's Albert Almora next. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it. Back to back Jacks. A solo shot here to left, and that is 27 for him on the year, and it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to 5 for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. 
Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's bad. funny, d Rose, is, is I oh, preferred great. to pitch in night games as oh, opposed great. to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now at the plate, Ryan Sandberg, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Hit on the ground out to short. Turner has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Victor Robles to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. As Dribble Cabrera will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And it's fouled away. Cabrera playing here in his age 34 season. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, Maddie, no kidding right there. I'll tell you what, the grind to get to the big leagues is so hard. Guys just want, they just want to spend a month, a day in the big leagues. So to put yourself here for 12 years screams to your ability to adjust and be a great teammate. Trey Turner stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. So add one more. Bottom of the sixth inning on its way. But first, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And flat out, he was Your very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Top for Washington, number 55, Rowanet Elliott. Here comes the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Robles waits on it. One out. Up next to the top. Now in the box, Kyle Schwarber. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Digging in, Victor Caratini. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard on the ground to second. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hits all they get. Lee Smith is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Kendrick waiting now the pitch. Howie Kendrick is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning one and oh. That one's going to find the seats strike one. The one one home. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. So it was a strikeout swinging. Howie Kendrick was down for the first out in the seventh inning. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. And yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not, Not everybody's getting right it here. right out of the yeah. shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, Debo, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Count now a ball and a strike. Thames behind one and two. Man, I'm interested to see this next pitch. Three balls pounded on the inside half of the plate. He either has no respect for this hitter, or he's setting him up to go down and away. 
Got him swinging on the fastball there. Eric Thames takes the hat trick with his third strikeout of the night. Starlin Castro is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. He'll go to Baez at second for the force. And that in. Ready now. Lee Smith. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. In the air out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Javier Baez will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game. As we flash you back here to his second home run. This is back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at bats. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, Dero. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Baez, base runner at first with one out. A two ball no strike count to the Cubs center fielder. That can be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count and if you throw another ball you're kind of in a difficult spot. Smoke on the ground up the middle to second for one. Relay to Zimmerman the double play to end the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Line toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. You know, D-Roll, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. they got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. Behind 0-2 now. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Behind 0-2 now. Can't waste getting a leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. National. Daniel Hudson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up Chris Bryant. Here comes the first pitch. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. Comes set and the 0 1. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 right, ABs to 200 bad. ABs. Andre. You start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May and he's on fire. D Road, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Thames is there, one away. Ready for another chance. Ryan Sandberg. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First offering on its way. High and deep to center field. Racing back to center fielder. To the track, to the wall.
So the bases are clear now following the home run. And next it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Robles waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batter. Stepping in, Kyle Schwarber. He singled his last time up. He's set, and the pitch. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Turner has a play. And the inning is over. Two for the Cubs. Here now is Trey Turner starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Howie Kendrick comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Howie Kendrick goes down for out number two in the top half. Juan Soto is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away without much trouble. And the Cubs will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. 8-1 to one is the final score.